Good morning, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for what you need to know for the month of December 2023. It is a requested reading. There are four cards to choose from, so you can pick one that you are drawn more to. So we are going to start with card number one. If you pick card number one, you have the Page of Pentacles. Page is usually something that starts off slow. Can be dealing with people who are younger, young at heart. That could be adults, even children. But it is a pentacle. This is something that is growth, usually opportunities. What I do pick up here for you, there's a big accent on your wealth, your valuables, and money. And there is something that tells me that connected to your wealth that the month of January will be significant as well. I do feel you will get some opportunities. You could be also someone out there building some kind of uh, home business is what I'm feeling or an online business. I do see that messages and good news is going to be strongly accented here for you. For some of you, you'll be traveling. You will be more cl uh, clear on what you want. You will have some sudden breakthroughs. New ideas are going to come your way and there is success here. Communications is very powerful. What you communicate with others and what they communicate with you. So listen carefully as well. You may talk to someone you haven't in a while. All communications have a significance to it is what I'm feeling here. Truths may be revealed. Definitely more clarity. I do feel there's going to be significant changes in your life. Stay away from gossip, but this can be someone also jealous of your success. If you have any great ideas, be careful of plagiarism. Any difficult times that you occur during the month, I feel you'll be taken care of. Some of you are going on a much needed vacation and taking time off. The number one is significant, even eight. That could be day, the date, or combination somehow. All right. If you picked card number two, you have the five of cups. does deal with a lot of emotions. There can be ups and downs, highs and lows, um, overthinking, but clearly it is important to also try to keep positive, finding the positive and the negative. It could be that something that you're wanting may take time. However, there is a focus on your success. And it guarantees you will be successful in whatever area you're looking at success for. And it could be with finances, business, and home. I do feel your work, what you build now, what you put in, the energy now, I pick up the month of August is going to be strongly indicated for success. Something will be made clear to you. You may be quite popular and in demand, and that could be straining you uh, and um, leaving you drained. So be careful of energy vampires. There is a change of direction with work career. 
There is a focus on your home. Some things are you're happy about, some things you're not. You will be financially independent. Money could be coming in. You may break free from enabling others or financing others too, so I do see that. From this sadness or whatever we are seeing, either these ups and downs, I see positivity, happiness. There will be some kind of a celebration. You're going through a rebirth and all is going to be well. I do feel there is going to be some good news. You're going to hear some good news surrounding you or a situation. You may feel insecure, unsettled. Plan ahead with some things too. Problems that occur, you will have a successful outcome with. There is an energy here that does say that people could frustrate you or some situations and it is saying trying to um, be tolerant or control your anger or your emotional outburst. Think before you do speak, you know, things like that. Pick and choose. I do feel success is coming. And August for some reason is significant. It could be by August 19th, August 9th, or the, this month, the 19th or the 9th are going to be significant. There is a beautiful light at the end of the tunnel here. If you picked card number three, you have the three of wands. There is a focus on your career or whatever you do most of the day. You're standing with others and career is definitely in focus here. There could be a process going on. There could be also com um, competition or some kind of um, trying to keep up with um, co-workers Deadlines, getting through obstacles, persevering. People around you are going to be very important this month, so pay attention to what is going on around you. I do feel <clears throat> that in the month of April, for some reason, this could be a new career or you will advance somehow. A significant female and a significant male are coming up. Um, this could be people you work with or coming into focus. You could be looked at as a leader. For some of you are going to be looking at building um, your own business. Maybe you're going to take a, go on to entrepreneur. You are seeing the big picture, but you need to be patient because this card is also waiting for your ship to come in, tying up loose ends. You will have the stamina to overcome a lot of challenges. You're the mature one in the group. Very career focused. There is a situation that you need to get out of that's creating some blockages in your career. You may be dealing with a female. It's coming up strongly here. Who could become a very strong ally or French uh, friend? Bonding. Teamwork. It's a good energy. But you could be a lot concerned about moving ahead. Just go with the flow. What I do pick up here also 
Love and work. You could be a love and work could be connected. You could have um, someone could be very attracted to you. Once more than just a friendship or a work partnership. So that definitely is coming through. The number seven is strongly indicated for you here. If you pick card number four, you have the Knight of Wands. A lot of energy surrounding you this month of December. A lot. There is a focus on either, okay, you're going to hear about a marriage. Some of you will meet someone or you may get engaged. There is something there or you hear about it. And it, and it and I don't know, the wedding or that can go all the way. I pick up the month of November, possibly November 7th. For some reason, I have that date in my head. There's a lot of movement at home. A lot of new people, experience, new experiences, high passionate energy. Some are going in, some people be leaving your life or a person and someone's and you may be coming in. There could be some remodeling. There could be some adjustments being made. Very passionate energies, but in and out, in and out type of energy. I see just a lot. There could be a lot of company or a lot of um, things happening. Taking care of your finances, taking care of the people that are important to you and yourself as well. You're getting something together here. A coming together. You have some challenges. Perseverance is going to be important and maintaining some kind of control. You will hold your own and hold your ground. There is an energy here because this is like fast in and out type of energies. What I'm picking up is pay attention to your finances. They could be gains or losses. I do feel that there's going to be a reconciliation with someone. You may um, reconcile with someone, someone maybe that you have not, or making amends, someone that you have not seen in a while as well. At the same time, someone else is leaving your life. I see fun energy, enjoyment, going out, having fun, parties. And some kind of significance with marriage. By November, some of you may actually be married by um, if you're single by November for some reason. Or this is you hearing about um, a wedding or something like that is coming up as significant. All right, everyone. That was the reading. Happy December. Bye for now.